Okay? So, heading, uh, heading on to a procedure. So, ito, this is also included in the laboratory manual. And it mentions uh, what you use to perform the experiments, the apparatus, uh, the essential uh, quantities that you use. And uh, you, you just need to paraphrase it and make it as descriptive as possible so that um, another scientist or another student, probably uh, some next school year, uh, makikita ng, ng, ng student tung tung experiment na to. So that that person can reproduce uh, the experiment and uh, generate uh, like a comparable data and uh, build on uh, what results that you have got that you have gathered. So it, it's also it also should be detailed enough so that you you can show your your teacher or your professor that you have a good understanding of the experimental procedure. So usually, kami po nung college, uh, before starting a, uh, uh, a laboratory experiment, we are required to, to uh, produce a pre-lab pre -lab report, which uh, contains this procedure part, so that uh, the teacher is uh, confident that uh, we know what we are doing. So what we are going to perform, uh, what reagents or glasswares that we, we need to use, and uh, Ayun, so para uh, ma-assess ng, ng teacher na, okay, uh, alam ng bata na to yung, yung mga gagawin. And this is also very important for safety. Because if uh, we do not know uh, what ex uh, the exact steps that we need to undertake, so baka may mga hazardous chemicals na, na involved dun sa experiment. So I have here uh, an example building on the, the topic that I gave. So few leaves uh, were boiled and then uh, a part of that uh, boiled mixture uh, was added with uh, vinegar and ammonia solution. So after noon, uh, tinake note yung uh, volumes of uh, uh, added ammonia or vinegar and then tinake note po yung uh, change in color depending sa volume ng dinagdag na, na reagent. Okay, so ito, very um, very simple experiment. So we, we can also uh, apply this to, to Philippine plants kasi ito, I just took this from a uh, international uh, international article. So maraming mga plants po sa, sa Pilipinas na hindi, hindi uh, green yung color ng leaves. So even yung talbos ng kamote may mga pigmentation siya or alugbati. So pwede nating gawin din po ito sa sa mga bahay natin because this is our these are uh, home based experiments so very um very basic po yung mga yung mga materials needed. So you only need like cups to to measure the volume and then uh, you only need the like a, an eye dropper for the for the volume of the the added vinegar or ammonia solution. So ito pwedeng nasa nasa bahay lang natin, nasa cabinet lang natin. So we can always we can try this out uh sa sa mga bahay natin. Of, or if you're a teacher, this might be a good um laboratory experiment or sort of in this time of uh, pandemic. Now for the results. So um usually the results or discussion may be uh, uh combined together but uh, if the if the teacher requires you to only have uh, a separated results part of the report, uh, you should just put there the 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 data and observe gathered from the experiment. And um, these these data or the quantitative data can be presented in the form of uh, tables and graphs, uh, and not even not only uh, quantitative data but also qualitative data. And please, if you're making, uh, if you're preparing tables and graphs, please make sure that uh, they are complete with titles and labels, titles and labels, and the 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 unit of measurement for for the quantity that you you investigated. The results also uh, contain the mathematical calculations. Uh, let's say, nag prepare kayo ng solution. Uh, 
there's a there's a good chance that the the teacher will require you to to put uh, how how you calculated the concentrations or the masses of the the reagents that you added. So, uh, ilalagay niyo po yun dito, and only include uh, the re the recorded information. Because at this point, you you're not, you're not expected to to give your uh, your own interpretation on the observations. You're only uh, stating the the raw the results and observations, because that will be uh, discussed in a different section, which is the discussion. So, ito uh, just an example. So we have here a table on the on this experiment. So we have uh, the drops of uh, the reagent, the ammonia or vinegar. So take note natin yung number of drops where it turned uh, from blue to blue-green and then blue-green all the way to green. Okay? And this is for a uh, red cabbage uh, sample. Okay? So on the, on the uh, acidic side naman, when you put vinegar, so ito parang tinuloy lang nila to eh from from green so ibabalik nila ibabalik nila sa blue green by adding vinegar so this is base and this is acid so from green it turned to blue green again and then to blue dark dark blue purple and uh, lastly pink okay so makikita natin talagang nagbabago-bago yung kulay depending on the pH of the of the reaction uh, of the reaction mixture Okay, so the next part is the discussion, which contains which contains your uh, interpretation of the data and analysis. So this one contains uh, uh, the the data and also determines how the data supports uh, the initial hypothesis. So parang dito natin sa sagutin kung yung uh, yung data natin ay nag agree dun sa, sa hypothesis na, na sinet out natin sa simula. And also, if there are devi deviant results or unexpected results, uh, dito po natin ilalagay yung possible explanations on why they were encountered. Okay? And of course, uh, let us remember to adhere to the technical writing style. So, we always write um, in the third person and in the passive form. Okay, so parang uh, dito, I, I will give a, a, an example. So ito, ano siya, passive form and uh, let's give an example. Was, as the ammonia solution was added. So hindi mo sasabihin na I added the, the ammonia solution. So it's third person and passive passive voice okay the ammonia solution was added to the cabbage water okay and also re refrain from uh, stating opinions or emotions so you can say that i was surprised that uh, the 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 cabbage water changed color from uh, green to blue let's say so yeah so let's refrain from putting our own uh, opinions or or uh, emotions on the on the discussion part. Okay? So makikita natin dito yung mga uh, essential um, essential points or the essential uh, results and also the conclusions, yung mga intermediate uh, conclusions natin. So sabi niya, therefore, in the presence of a base, the anthocyanins uh, change to a green color. Okay? And in the presence of uh, vinegar, which is an acid, the pH began to decrease. And then in the presence of acid, the anthocyanins uh, turned pink. So makita natin, very simple lang, very simple lang yung, yung observations because these are this is just uh, a high school laboratory experiment. Okay? So doon naman po sa conclusion, very brief lang din po, contains the brief summary of... Uh, the what was investigated in the experiment and states how the data supports the hypothesis and explains uh, briefly why deviations were were observed or or encountered siguro um mali yung uh, 
volume na nadagdag or um, parang faulty yung equipment. And even kung um, hindi masyadong maganda yung, yung data natin, we can make a very good report by stating exactly like the 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 reasons why why uh, unexpected results were were uh, encountered so kung ako yung teacher at nakita ko na kahit hindi maganda yung data nung naipinresent nung nung estudyante nung bata um makikita natin yung yung daling niya on how he uh, presented or discussed um like unexpected results or deviations from from what was expected so the conclusion uh, basically mirrors the introduction because uh do natin sasagutin yung objectives uh the objectives the, the hypothesis and how we arrived uh at a certain conclusion uh yun nga lang po this this uh section includes the major major findings and their implications so from the introduction to the conclusion, yung uh, laboratory report po is usually uh, very brief, one to two pages. And uh, I just want to make an appeal to to all the teachers kasi uh, sa atin parang it's always the longer the better. But uh, for a laboratory report, so ang pinaka-importante lang po is to uh, put the, the most essential elements because we try to to make it as brief and concise, logical as possible. So, hindi po kailangan yung very flowery words or very highfalutin uh, terms. So, kailangan lang po uh, may pakita ng mga sujante ng mga bata that 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 they learned, that they understood what the experiment was all about, and uh, derived um, useful learnings on that uh, activity. So, ayun. Ito, uh, example lang po ng uh, conclusion. So, ayan. Taking from table one, the presence of bases uh, make the anthoc anthocyanins turn green and the, pres and the presence of acids, uh, anthocyanins turn pink. Anthocyanins are present in many leaves and, uh, and affect their perceived color. So, relating to the, the, the background information that... Uh, we stated in the in the introduction, but as leaf color change, uh, leaf color change uh, as the pH of the leaf changes, and uh, the set of pigments therefore can give leaf different colors depending on the leaf's pH. So makikita natin very simple lang yung yung conclusion dahil very simple lang din po yung yung experiment. Okay, so um, I just want to uh, stress this out to to our uh, high school students present in this forum na yung experiments po natin, yung conclusions natin should only uh, be uh, substantiated with the, with the activities or the experiments that we perform. So, wag nating dagdagan ng, ng mga bagay na hindi, natin naman, hindi naman natin ginawa. Okay? So, we just uh, take our conclusion from the, the, the results that we ourselves uh, collected and observed. Okay? So, wag na po tayo magdagdag ng uh, added extra just to make it longer. Okay? Doon lang po tayo sa specific objectives and uh, the learnings from the activity. Okay? Now, yung reference po for uh, high school laboratory reports are uh, most likely not uh, not needed. But if so, uh, you can list here the, the previous studies on the topic and other relevant sources. If, if you did um, like prior research for that experiment. And ayun nga po, hindi siya, hindi siya ganun ka uh, most likely not needed in, in high school uh, lab reports.